All right, folks, welcome back. I'm just gonna share with you what we currently have on the workbench. So right now I'm working on a batch. I've got five of these rock pattern EDC street scalpels. Uh, three of them, sorry, I have this rock pattern. I still need to shine up the bevels here with some Scotch-Brite. I've got this one here, and this one is stainless steel, ground really nice and thin, and then we've got the honeycomb pattern on it. And then this is an experiment. You may or may not know what's happening with it, but uh, this one will be done shortly. Another blade we're working on is this guy. And this is gonna be another one of those big kitchen cleavers. Um, got a really nice fit up there in the bolster area. This thing's ready to be glued. We're using the dowel method, of course. But the problem I have is that I don't have a clamp big enough to clamp this. And so I need to go pick up one right now, modify it so you have some fingers that go here. I'm looking for a big, big clamp. Uh, I don't care if it's like a 36 inch capacity or whatever. I just want something that's gonna reach in and fully grab this and then fully grab the bottom. Right now, for other knives, I'm using two clamps. One in the front, one in the back. I wanna get away from that if I can. So we're gonna buy a big honk and clamp. And again, we just kinda cut a little slot in this end so that that can go around the blade. We can glue everything up, get the epoxy inside of here, and as it's curing, right before it fully kicks off, pull the blade out, and then this thing will be good to go. We can shape it, do what we need to do off of the blade. So I'm gonna go grab one of those clamps right now, and since it's actually pretty nice out, we're gonna take the motorbike. I think this will be the one. I've got plenty of room in there to mill a slot. And this webbing should keep it fairly strong. Not a parking spot. side I should modify. I think I'm going to modify this side and that way I'll be clamping it in the vise like this and then I can bring this down. Okay. I think we're ready to glue it up. Need to put a groove in here so that the glue can exit when I go install it. All right, I'm gonna clean everything up. I'm gonna mix up some epoxy. I'm gonna stick it all in here. I'm gonna clamp it down. start to harden up. And I might squeeze one more here just for fun. A little bit more. Maybe 30 more seconds. Yep, we're taking her out now. Good. Now we'll just wipe this down. Let that dry. 